Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Today we have with us Mr. Sagar who has just been placed in Accenture with a package of 4.25 LPA at the role of ASE, that's Associate Software Engineer. So Sagar, first of all, congratulations from the whole team of Talent Battle on getting placed into such a big MNC and starting your career with Accenture. Welcome to Talent Battle once again. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm really glad to be here. Like uh, I have been a mem uh, member, of, member of Masterclass from Talent Battle and yeah, I've been cons consistently teaching throughout the like uh, very well. Like, it's an exceptional platform for, like if you're preparing for MNCs and job. Thanks. Uh, thanks a lot for appreciating us. And uh, Sagar, like one thing we want to uh, tell to our audience, like uh, it's the goal of Talent Battle that 100% of our students, whosoever is the part of uh, Talent Battle, like whether he's the student of, uh, he or she is a student of Masterclass or Super 40 or any of education package, whichever you might have choose. So our prime goal is to get and see you placed as soon as possible and you are the live example sitting with us today on this platform once again so today uh, sagar is here with his hiring experience of accenture uh, so sagar we would like to know each and every small detail uh, like what was uh, and how the process was going on uh, throughout uh, when you were there uh, for accenture's drive okay which can help the, your juniors and your fellow mates who are still trying to get into Accenture. So you can help them, right? So Sagar, let's start with the, the first question, which I want to ask you is like, how many rounds were there uh, for Accenture? Yeah, so <clears throat> in total, there were total four rounds. Okay. And like, uh, what were those rounds? Yeah. So the very first round was an elimination round and that was aptitude test, which was completely online. And the second round, if you qualify the aptitude round, that is, then you qualify for the coding round. That's the second round. So, and third round, if you call that is the coding round was also an elimination round. So after you qualify the coding round, you get into the third round, that is the communication round, where uh, communication skills and all are tested. And finally, we have the technical and HR interview there as the fourth round. Okay. So like uh, for every general company, these are the most common rounds, right? So let's start uh, with the first round that was uh, like aptitude round, right? Which you mentioned like it was the elimination round and uh, the first two yeah. rounds uh, were the elimination round basically, right? So let's start with the aptitude yeah. round. Uh, please tell us like, what was the duration of uh, the aptitude test and how many questions were asked? Yeah, like, yeah. so like uh, there were two parts basically in the aptitude round. First part was the cognitive ability, which had around 50 questions and we were allotted uh, basically 50 minutes. And uh, the second part was the technical assessments, which had 40 questions and had around 40 minutes. The cognitive ability that is, the uh, the first part had further three sections. Like it had okay. first the abstract reasoning, secondly the critical reasoning, for the verbal, well -well -well. and uh, the second part, the technical assessment, had common application questions like MS Word, MS PowerPoint, MS Excel, and it also had some pseudo codes, and finally it had some com uh, topics of computer networking and cloud computing. So in total, we were given like uh, around 150 minutes, a total, a total of uh, around, uh, around 90 questions. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, that was all about the first round. Yeah. Okay. So around like 100 minutes or we can say like uh, you mentioned like 40 questions were in part two and 50 questions were in part one. Like one minute for yeah. one question, like 90 minutes in total, right? Yeah. Okay, so you mentioned like there were three subsections for the first uh, like cognitive test, right? Which was uh, like abstract reasoning, uh, your critical reasoning, and the third one was right uh, like verbal. Yes. So uh, what were the questions like? How uh, how were the questions and 
from which topic uh, like most questions were picked in these uh, subtopics yeah so we were allotted various slot for the exam so in our slot like i had faced uh, like basically an abstract and critical if you combine we got around uh, topics from like topics from like speed time and distances like uh, pipes and clusters and we also had uh, trains the speed and such topics and if we go for the like image questions like there were mirror images like paper cuts and folds like uh, most of them were like these types of questions it's like very basic level of like level 1 level 2 max to max they had level 2 that questions and okay. finally we had the verbal round. yes 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 please uh, go on yeah and finally the verbal round which had basic uh, grammar like uh, like uh, basic grammar like which we generally follow in our school or college life yeah and that was about the cognitive part okay so like uh, you rated this test uh, like part 1 basically right now so you rated this uh, this test like it was like beginner to moderate level yeah beginner to moderate okay and how many questions like, you because think because we had uh, like because we had limited time like one minute for mm -hmm. one question so uh, the level was not that difficult so yeah put it down okay okay like uh, we talked to students and uh, we talked to many students and they have like the same scenario like they are saying like we were uh, not having a good time management so how you manage your time like uh, like i said it was an online test so before like we had different slots so our my slot was basically in the evening so before that like before that at in the morning i prepared some topics like which were majorly asked in uh, common exams like practice before so i prepared those topics the last moment and i revised them just before giving the exam so it gave me a clarity that like yeah such and such topics will come so i'll attempt those topics first then leave the leave the rest of the part which i'm not sure about in the end so the question pattern was like you can visit one question then you can jump into second question it is completely free like so in that way i managed time i did the questions which i got like i got the answers first and then i left the part at the end which i didn't get the answer like correctly or i i was confused like which which would be the answer so like that way i managed the time okay great like this tip could help others as well like last minute revision always helps <laughs> yeah always uh great uh so uh, all right so now talking about the second uh sub part of the same uh like second section of the mm -hmm. test so it was like the technical assessment right so you yeah. mentioned uh two topics uh or maybe three right so you mentioned uh, three topics for the technical ass assessment so take it uh like in the same way and kindly tell us what were the important topics and how were the questions like yeah again the level of questions was like uh, moderate to e like easy level and uh, most of the questions if you if i say the ms word ms excel they were like image based questions like there was an image and they were told to that recognize this particular image like what is the function of this image and uh, yeah most of them were like that and for if if i talk about ms excel then they were given some formulas like identify that what does the formula work does and if we come to the pseudo code part like there were a sn code snippet like uh, it could be in any language not preferably java c c plus it could be in any language so in my case i had faced mostly of java and c plus uh, plus snippet coding questions and yeah they were quite again moderate to easy level and finally we had computer networking and cloud computing they had like uh, we need to be updated like if we want to do those questions we need to be updated with the latest information what's going around in the market and yeah they were like again like i would say to moderate level to easy level not so hard okay and like basically uh the questions you are you again said like they were moderate level easy to moderate that's good yeah. uh like you felt the questions were very easy uh but uh, like uh, the hands-on coding questions so how many were there and like what were the 
difficulties you faced in this test was there anything like you felt like uh, oh i don't know this thing or you have to apply the guesswork or it was uh, all going smoothly yeah i had uh, no i had faced some challenges like uh, if you say like computer networking and computer cloud computing some terms were fairly new for me so i couldn't go that those questions were weren't going that easy so i thought i will do it in the end okay and uh, if you talk about the pseudo code part then i broke the code in several parts and then i tried dry running just on my code that like like i well like, like sitting with a copy and pen so i just go uh, snip like quickly wrote down some terms and i if i got the answer within a, like 30 to 40, 40 minutes i would proceed otherwise i would leave that question like there was no negative marking but you should be aware of like if you are doing correct or not because i guess they have a algorithm that how many correct questions you are doing or such kind of thing okay and you also mentioned like uh, you were switching throughout the questions you were leaving the questions that can be done at the last so was this switching allowed in the test of course uh, yeah switching was allowed yeah hmm. like when i was giving the exam switching was allowed okay okay and uh, also keeping a pen and copy was allowed they didn't give you any warning yeah. like when you were looking down and the, because the screen is on uh, no no that's that, that wasn't an issue because we also had a reasoning questions like without like without solving them we cannot like just yeah like uh, just proceed so the camera was like uh, they were clicking pictures like every 5 to 10 minutes and that was being accessed like not continuously they were recording like not like that so they oh. were they won't that no such big warnings like please look at the camera and such it was like moderate okay okay got it okay so moving further uh, to your second round so like uh, second round uh, it was the coding round basically okay and so how many coding questions were there in total and what was the time limit see so there were total of two questions and we were given total time of like around 45 minutes like so we had to complete both the questions in 45 minutes like there were no individual time for each question uh, yeah that was it okay there were two questions so on what technology uh, like uh, both of the question based, were based on basically what topic or what kind of algorithm or tell us the uh, topics uh, for these questions like uh, one question i think was like simple like easy to moderate level and the second question i was from the data structures and uh, both the questions were like flexible enough like we could do in any programming language c c++ python or java okay. there was an a drop down option where we could select like which language you could choose preferred in coding and there was no such hard and fast rule that yeah you have to do only on java or python or c it was uh, flexible enough great and were you able to solve all the test cases that they were asked uh yeah i remembered i solved all the test cases like uh, the first question it took me around 15 to 20 minutes to solve it was a bit easy question but the second question took a bit long like more than 20 minutes so the time was manageable so it wasn't that lengthy it was in the two uh, means like was first question was short it was quickly solvable second question was like okay okay so it was like for red level nice okay so both questions you solved and uh, this was also the elimination round or not ah uh, yeah this coding round was an elimination round okay okay so moving further uh, to the third round and before uh, actually going to the third round uh, till now so you mentioned two sections uh, one was the your basic like round 1 uh, the aptitude test and round 2 the coding test and both of tests were like computer based tests right so any kind of uh, difficulty or like you mentioned like questions were smooth and enough and you were answering very nicely so but still if uh, like uh, you have to give any kind of advice to your fellow mates what would be your best advice for these first two rounds 
Yeah, I would advise like to sit in a quiet, undisturbed environment, and uh, internet connection must be stable. Because I was seeing that when I was running the test cases, some test cases were taking too long to be like to upgrade. So I so I thought that must be problem with the internet. And yeah, that was the problem. Like internet was a bit slow. So I so and uh, please be like keep a backup of the internet, like phone, use a mobile hotspot and such things. And in my case, uh, that was most preferred. Like I used my mobile hotspot as well as the Wi-Fi on the laptop. So that helped. Like if you come out of the test and then try to sign again, they tell you to wait one or two minutes. Then you were able to sign in and such kind of things. So like avoid like technical mistakes. That could hamper. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. So moving to the third round now, and uh, that was the communication round. So how it went, and what were the questions uh, you were asked to solve? Uh, yeah, I uh, I would say that communication round was I felt that it was a bit lengthy, because uh, continuously we were tested. Like uh, there were again four to five levels of round. Okay. Uh, yeah, match to match. It was also a computer levels. based test, or uh, like it was a uh, interview round. No, it was a completely computer-based automated test. Like there was a robotic voice which was speaking to us. Okay, okay, okay. So, like, what were the sections or what were what were the type of questions that uh they were asking you? Uh, yeah, like uh, first there was fill in the blanks that they they were like they were everything was happening verbally. Like there were no no nothing on the screen or such. So they were uh, telling some sentences and in between they left some blank spaces we had so after a certain time after the beep sound like they told just tell the answer like what will be in the plan that was in level one type and level two they gave gave such uh, like certain uh, what to say jumbled sentences like sentences which are mixed like the so <clears throat> randomly they were telling any sentence and they told to Next, after the beep sound, told to correct that sentence and speak in a correct order. So that was level two, and uh, level three they asked like uh, daily questions. Like for example, in my case, they asked, uh, uh, "What is a shower? Like, uh, what is the function of a shower?" So that was the question, like very basic type question, like general grammar or general word. They were things. they were recording your voice. Yeah, they were recording my voice. Okay, okay. It was a dedicated software. They were everything was happening inside a software. The camera mic was also on, and yeah, they recommended to use a good quality headphone and mic and so. So continuously you had to like completely focus on what they are telling, because uh, the problem is that uh, they were in different languages. Like uh, some was American accent, some were British accent. So that was the major problem. Okay, and what were the timings? Uh, like it was, uh, like for how many minutes? Like around thirty to forty-five minutes. I didn't they they didn't have an exact timing slot, but around you can uh, assume thirty to forty-five minutes. The entire uh, communication round happened. Okay, and all three rounds were on the same day, or like there was a difference of uh, days. Within these no, in my case, yeah, yeah. In my case, there were diff they were in different days. Like uh, in case of round one and round two, it happened on the same day. Like after we I clear round one, I got message that your round two will start in fifteen minutes. Please be ready. And uh, after I cleared round two, then they told yeah you have been selected. We'll communicate further for the communication term. So in my case, uh, it took uh, three to four days after I got my communication round link. And yeah, that was it. In every link, in every day, we they were told to select. We were told to select a certain exam slots. So yeah, that was that. Okay, okay. So okay, now starting with the last round, uh, the fourth round. So that you mentioned it was uh, an interview round. So like it was the combination of uh, technical plus HR, or like it was just the technical or just the HR interview. 
Uh, no, the last and final round was the technical plus HR interview. Like, right? okay. they hadn't mentioned Transport. anything, but yeah, but they had mentioned like they would they would only be interview, but it was a uh, technical and HR interview mixed. Okay, there were two panelists, or there was just a single panelist asking the questions. No, in my case, it was single panelist. Okay, okay. So starting with the fourth round, uh, so, uh, like. How was the interview round and what type of questions were asked? Like overall, I would prefer the, in my case, the interview I think was good and a bit lengthy, but yeah, overall it was very nice experience. Okay. Lengthy, like uh, for how many minutes? Like uh, I didn't see the time, but actually I, but I thought um, like it calculated it was around 40 to 45 minutes. Okay. okay. Questions. Okay. So, like, how how were the like on what topics were the questions based on? And if you remember any questions which were asked you, so you can share us with uh, that as well. Yeah, sure. Uh, so yeah, firstly, uh, they asked that uh, the, that I resume that I uploaded was that my latest resume. So I told yeah, and then they asked to just simply introduce yourself. And uh, while I was introducing myself, lastly, I, I told my hobby. So uh, the interviewer started asking about my hobby, like uh, explain more about my hobby and uh, how do you, how did you like, how did this hobby inculcate in you? How did you choose this hobby? Or why did you choose, choose this hobby? And uh, like, what are the future scopes? So like, I would say the first, uh, 10 minutes was completely about me, myself and the hobby which I had. Okay, the basic introduction. It went yeah, for 10 minutes the, now. Yeah, that went for like 10 minutes. And uh, after that, they started asking about my projects. Like they, I, like in my resume, I had mentioned two projects. One was major and another one was minor. So they asked which one was your major project. So so, and when I told them about major project, so she told that explain a bit more about my major project. So I told them that this and this. So that took along 10, 10 minutes, like explaining the whole project, what was the project and what was the topic and all. So further, she asked like how many team members were there, uh, who was the team leader of the project, and uh, did you resolve that? Did you come up with any conflicts? How do you resolve them? And so on. And finally, they asked like how much time was given to complete my project and how did you manage your time and such questions. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. So, any technical questions like uh, the most important ones? Like, uh, how were the technical questions based on, and what it, was the, all the questions based on your resume? And also tell us like, uh, like how uh, like your resume basically. So, what kind of projects or what kind of technologies you have mentioned in your resume? Yeah. So, uh, they asked about like what was your favorite language. So, I told that my favorite language was like a technical and was Java uh, and C++. So, majorly I focused on C++ that I took my, the interview to ask more questions on the, the C++. Only. So, yeah. So she based asked some basic oops questions and that, that was all about the technical part. Like very less technical part and majorly I would say HR part was more. Okay. HR and like behavioral questions which you mentioned. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like uh, extra, like if we done any extracurricular activities in college, like did you did we take part in any volunteering work or did we did we organize any activity in college? such kind of questions okay great so again like uh, as your first round your second round this round was also easy for you <laughs> yeah i would rather say yeah it was a quite lengthy like uh, all like there were many questions like all of us had there were questions back to back so it was a good bit lengthy for me but i felt like okay it was easy the interview was like comfortable. We just be comfortable, no problem. Like that. Great. Okay. So, any suggestions for your fellow mates 
at this point like what should they revise before uh, like starting their process or those who are still in process like what what are the topics they must focus on to crack the interview like i would rather say aptitude and coding downward they require a lot of practice uh, just uh, one to two hours per day for aptitude and coding will be enough but i would try to say we should, we should practice more about the technical and the interview round because in my college i have seen my friends also they were they were clearing these aptitude and coding very easily but they lack behind the interview part that they they face difficulties in interview part so i would rather say we should we must prepare more about ourselves like we should gain more confidence like how to speak to people how to like if even if you're saying any wrong answers tell them like la no i don't know the answer but in a confident and a positive manner that's what i think is the like key to like uh, take lead in the interview sure nice okay it's a good suggestion and uh... i must say like uh, we are very proud to have you here at talent battle sharing your experience and we hope like the things which you have practiced during the classes they might have helped you and all the things which you have mentioned so i have noticed like the aptitude and the other things the basics the hr questions so you were revising for the same right yeah right like i had created a notebook and i was practicing daily in that so that really helped me a lot that's great yes practice makes a man perfect uh, so the saying is uh, 100% truth right so that helped right. you in this case as well okay so once again uh, congratulations from our side sagar it was very nice talking to you and i hope like the audience uh, those who are listening us so they all have uh, get a very good insight like how the accenture process is uh, happening and how many rounds are there or what kind of questions are asked but it can uh, change in your scenario but talking about sagar scenario so it was the most common scenario which have been uh, felt by the most of the students like companies do hire uh, using using these 3 uh, 4 rounds only and the questions are mostly repeated so it is a good thing like uh, sagar has given us such a kind information so one last question uh, sagar to you is uh, like uh, at the end of interview so many interviewers ask like any questions uh, for our side or any kind of feedback they might have given you so please uh, share us that as well yeah in my case also they ask like do you have any questions for us so this is the like major point in which we i can ask them like questions hmm. and i definitely did ask one question like i asked like uh, like if i adopted a new technology then how does essential helps me to grasp knowledge of that technology and then work on it like how is the work environment there and such kind of question so yeah she was very interested in telling me about such thing so she was like yeah we at essential we uh like we train students before getting into any field first and then we take them to the like projects a lot of them projects and so that gave me a little confidence like yeah i should uh, like corporate uh, i should gain some confidence that gave me confidence like positive thing like yeah corporate is something that you should go for after your college nice okay so any feedback they have given you or uh, yeah i i yeah in my case i think it has some positive feedback like uh, uh they like i was trying to explain them a bit i guess more so they told like yeah short is fine so in my case that was a thing okay okay nice okay so sagar once again like uh, i really congratulate you and we wish like uh, it would be your good start and you achieve the heights of success and you have a good growth in the corporate world so thank you sagar for coming uh, coming here at talent battle once again and thank you audience for listening us uh, so patiently and i hope uh, like this uh, video contains lots of information which can help you as well so share it with your friends as well those who are uh, trying to get into the corporate uh, like world basically so 
सब्सक्राइब टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर ऑल द लेटेस्ट अपडेट